What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports. I'm actually guys with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 Super Bowl contenders for the 2019 NFL seasons. So, at number 10, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers, who finished last season with a 9-6-1 record. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers came off of an offseason when they really didn't make a lot of noise besides signing former Kansas City Chiefs corner Steven Nelson. But they made a lot of noise and trading away Antonio Brown to the Oakland Raiders and Le'Veon Bell finally becoming a free agent. I think now the locker room is cleansed. Um, Antonio Brown might hurt us, uh, it's going to hurt us a lot, but it's also going to benefit us a lot because now we don't have to worry about Big Ben forcing him the ball all the doggone time, having all these costly interceptions, trying to force A.B. the ball. And also Le'Veon Bell, I mean, I hate how people be like, we're not going to be the same without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with the Antonio Brown thing, but Juju Smith-Schuster should be able to step up. And Le'Veon Bell, we have already, we already know that we can replace Le'Veon Bell because we already have. James Conner was an absolute stud this year. I mean, James Conner made the Pro Bowl, so we still had about good production coming out of that running back position. So, we've already really moved on for Le'Veon Bell. This guy didn't even play for us last season. So, we already moved on. We found the stud in James Conner who made the Pro Bowl this year. And you have to put the Pittsburgh Steelers at number 10 on this list because even though the Cleveland Browns are expected to win the division, the Pittsburgh Steelers still have the best quarterback in the division. Big Ben is better than Bacon Mayfield and Lamar Jackson and Andy Dalton. And we still have a top 10 roster, even without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. And we had the best off the line in all the football last year. According to Pro Football Focus, the Pittsburgh Steelers had the number one off the line in all of football last year. So with those in mind and a pretty solid roster, top 10 in the NFL, we should be able to make it to the playoffs. And we should be contenders to win the Super Bowl. And I wouldn't rule us out as being contenders for the Super Bowl this coming year, just because how talented we are, still a top 10 roster, even without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, and still having a top 10 quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger, who should be a lot better now without Antonio Brown. At number nine, I have the Atlanta Falcons. Now, the Atlanta Falcons, to me, should have been a playoff team last year, but I mean, injuries just derailed their season. I mean, they lost Keon O'Neal, and they lost... Deion Jones. Now, those are two pro bowlers, and anytime you lose two pro bowlers on your defense, that is going to be a huge blow to your team. No matter how good you are, no matter how much depth you got, you won't be able to place two good pro bowlers on that defense. Most likely the heart and soul of the Atlanta Fox defense, Deion Jones, who missed a lot of time, and Keanu O'Neal, who missed the whole entire season, basically. So now the Atlanta Falcons, they were able to retool. They got their offensive line back to where it was supposed to be. Their offensive line is going to be very good this season. And their offensive line was a big part of why they made that Super Bowl run a couple of years ago. And I feel the Atlanta Falcons are, without a doubt, now they had an offensive line taken care of. They are Super Bowl contenders going into this year. With Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Matt Ryan still producing, you know, the Atlanta Falcons have a pretty good team, and I had them at number nine. At number eight, I have the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the Indianapolis Colts, I have them on this list because they're my favorites to win the AFC South this year, which should be competitive. But I think the Indianapolis Colts have the most complete roster. When you think about the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball, they have the most complete team in the AFC South. I mean, the Houston Texans defense is... And, they have a good front seven, but their secondary position is, man, the Jacksonville Jaguars, I don't really know how they're looking on the offensive side of the ball. Even though they had Nick Foles, I still have concerns about the wide receiver position. And the Tennessee Titans, I'm still having concerns about their offense as well. So I expect the Indianapolis Colts to win that division. Then with Andrew Luck, Darius Leonard, and Justin Houston, and they draft Paris Campbell, who is going to be an impact player in their offense this year. The Indianapolis Colts are very much improved. And I think with Andrew Luck, they had the time to make a Super Bowl run. And I had them on this list as my top 10 Super Bowl contenders for the 2019 season at number eight. Because, I mean, with Andrew Luck, who is a probably a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, maybe you can argue that he's top five. If you have him on your team, plus he now has a solid group of wide receivers, a solid off of the line. The defense is starting to come along. This Indianapolis Colts team is very, very scary, and that's why I had them on this list. At number seven, I had the San Francisco 49ers. 
Now, in this past offseason, I mean, other than the Cleveland Browns, the San Francisco 49ers were the most active team in free agency. They signed Quan Alexander. They signed Jason Verrett. They just signed a bunch of good players. And their defense, their whole team is very, very much improved. They drafted Nick Bosa, which now means they have probably one of the best, a top five defensive line of all the football. Um, they have a great pass rushing core. The defense is just very, very complete now. And the offense, they got some weapons for Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo missed most of the season last year, out for the season last season. And really, he was a big reason why they missed the playoffs. And now, I think with Jimmy Garoppolo now, they now have a better roster than the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. So they should be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the LA Rams to see who gets that number one spot. The San Francisco 49ers have to be on this list because they are one of the most talented teams in the NFL now when we look at their roster on paper. And I mean, how can you not have these guys in your Super Bowl discussion this year? So I had the San Francisco 49ers at number seven. At number six, I have the Cleveland Browns. I mean, the Cleveland Browns had the best offseason this past year in the NFL and free agency and in the draft, in my opinion. Greedy Williams was an absolute steal. Mack Wilson was an absolute steal as well. And they traded for Odell Beckham. They got Olivier Vernon. I mean, the Cleveland Browns are the most improved team coming into this season. They have a finally found their franchise guy in Baker Mayfield. They got Duke Johnson for now. They have Nick Chubb. And they're going to have Kareem Hunt coming back as well. Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, Antonio Callaway, David Njoku. That offense, that defense is very scary. The Cleveland Browns have a very complete roster now. And they're probably most likely the favorites to win the AFC North this year. And they should be one of the best teams in the AFC this year. And with all this talent... They have probably the best wide receiving core in the NFL. The defense is now top 10. How can you not have the Cleveland Browns as a Super Bowl contender? With all the talent they have, they have a lot of expectations that they have to live up to. They are one of the most talented teams in all of football, so you have to put them on this list, and that's why I had them at number 6. At number 5, I had the Kansas City Chiefs. MVP of the NFL season last year, of the 2018 NFL season, Patrick Mahomes. He's going to be better than ever now, coming off of a very impressive MB MVP season. I think he's going to be more improved now. We don't know the status of Tyreek Hill. Yeah, they lost Kareem Hunt, but the offensive line is still good. The defense is very improved. They traded for Frank Clark. They got Tyron Matthew in free agency. The secondary is very improved. The defensive line is very improved now. They now actually have some guys who can now actually get after the pass rusher or get after the quarterback now. Young guys, not old guys. They got rid of Justin Houston, you know. So the Kansas City Chiefs defense is very improved. The offense is pretty much the same. As long as you have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid calling the plays, the offense without a doubt is going to be very good as well. So the Kansas City Chiefs, now that they have a defense, and now on top of that, having a very explosive and prolific offense now, I think they can real deal and make a Super Bowl run this year. And that's why I have them at number five on my list. At number four, I have another AFC West team. I have the LA Chargers. Now, the LA Chargers, in my opinion, have a top five roster in the NFL. When you look at this roster, top to bottom, it's not really, it's not really many teams that you can say are fully loaded at every position. The LA Chargers are one of those teams. I mean, at the cornerback position, the secondary position, they're stacked. They probably have one of the best front sevens in all of football. They have a complete wide receiving core. Mike Williams is now going to have a very good season. I think he's going to have a breakout year. Keenan Allen is on his verge to becoming a top five wide receiver in the NFL. Melvin Gordon showed what he could do now last season, making it to the Pro Bowl last year. Phillip Rivers is still producing at a high level. And the LA Chargers offensive line is going to be very, very improved this year now. Now that they're going to be getting Forrest Lamp back, he didn't even he hasn't even played the official NFL snap really as a starter yet. So he's going to improve that offensive line as well. The LA Chargers, I had them ahead of the Kansas City Chiefs because I believe that they are the most talented team in the AFC at they're the most talented team in the AFC, and I'm just going to come out and say that. I know that might be a little bit of a reach to some people, but I think the LA Chargers have the best roster out of all the teams in the AFC. When you look at this roster, top to bottom, they're loaded. Everybody can contribute. Everybody can produce. And I have the LA Chargers number four on this list. At number three, I have the New Orleans Saints. Now, the New Orleans Saints, they lost Max Ugger. 
that's going to be a big blow, but they were able to replace him in the NFL draft. And I still think their offensive line is still going to be pretty good. And you had Drew Brees back there, who was one of the most accurate passers last season. I mean, Drew Brees was an MVP candidate. And the way that the Saints got robbed last season, I know doggone well that they're out for revenge. They're looking to prove and make a statement. And they just have a chip on their shoulder for everything that happened last year with that no call against the L.A. Rams, which was an obvious pass interference, you know. So, I mean, they just have a large chip on their shoulder. Now, they do have one of the toughest schedules in all of the NFL this year, but I think they're pretty talented enough to overcome that. I think they finish out with a 12-4 record, and I still feel that they will be in the NFC Championship game this year. And I think they are one of the most talented teams in all of football, which is why I had them at number at number two, I have the Dallas Cowboys. Now, the Dallas Cowboys are, I said the LA Chargers were the best team talent-wise in the NFC or AFC, excuse me. And I'm going to say that the Dallas Cowboys are the most talented team in the NFC. I mean, they are loaded. Their front seven is absolutely scary. Demarcus Lawrence, you now have Robert Crenn on the opposite side. Now you got... Sean Lee, you have Lander Vayanesk. I mean, the cornerback position is solid. The safety position is solid. The linebacking core is very good. I mean, now on the offense side of the ball, they got Randall Cobb, Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott, who is in the contract year. The offensive line is going to be better than what it was last year with getting their starting center back. Well, he should be able to come back in Travis Fre Frederick. I mean, this Dallas Cowboys team is loaded. I mean... Ronald Cobb, Amari Cooper, that's one of the best wide receiving cores in the NFL, top 10 at least. You have Ezekiel Elleg back there, Dak Prescott. I mean, despite what people say, Dak Prescott has won the most games out of any quarterback in their first couple of years in the NFL. I mean, this Dallas Cowboys team is loaded top to bottom. They are the most talented team in the NFC, and that's why I have them at number two. And at number one, we already know who it is. It's the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots, man, they picked up Michael Bennett. I mean, they still had Tom Brady, who doesn't show any, who isn't showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. Had the best coaching staff in the NFL, Josh McDaniels, Bill Belichick. I mean, the wide receiving core, they got Nikhil Harry now to go along with Julian Edelman, but it doesn't really matter how much time the New England Patriots have on their roster because they're always going to be the most better. Most of the time, the most well-coached team, most well-disciplined team. The off the line is still good. I mean, Yanni Kajus was an absolute steal. He's going to be a day one starter, and they drafted uh, off the line in the first round of last year's draft. So, I mean, the off the line is going to be very good. You got Damian Harris and Sonny Michelle. So, this New England Patriots team, although their biggest loss was losing Rock and Towski to retirement, this New England Patriots team is still very talented. And I think they're going to be the number one team to win the Super Bowl, to defend the Super Bowl champions. And I had them number one on this list as the best team that has the best chance of repeating and winning the Super Bowl this year. So let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.